Sorry, so sorry. On a night when New York City was drenched under pouring rain, a good Samaritan noticed a woman stranded on Manhattan's FDR Drive. As fate would have it, New York City's favorite bodega worker, Ahmed Alwan, affectionately called Mehdi, known for his viral 2020 bodega challenge, would be traveling home at this time and would encounter them. Is everything okay? Oh my God. Yeah? Yeah, how are you? I stumbled across Abdul Wali and this lady in the highway. I wanted to get out and help the lady. I was like, I was shocked. She's in the middle of the highway. It's like 12.30 at night. It's raining. She looks scared. So I had stopped and I got out my car to go see what's going on. And I already seen Abdul Wali already helping her with her gas. So she was out of gas. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I seen Abdul Wali and I was, I was very surprised. I'm like, wow, this man's a great guy. Like <laughs> I wanted to come do this kind act, but mm -hmm. he was already doing it. That got Medi curious as to why this man, Abdul Wali Saleh, stopped to help. I'd be like, are you okay? He said, no, I have no jazz and I, you know, I'm not from here, you know? And uh, I be like, just wait over there. I be back, you know. There was people, you know, uh, beeping behind me. So I went on and uh, just went to the gas station, uh, you know, get, get a gas for the girl and uh, come back. I went all the way to Long Island because there was no gas station close. Abdul Ali wound up driving about a half hour each way to purchase gas for the visitor and bring it back to her. They were able to fill up the woman's tank. As it turns out, Abdulwali is no stranger to this type of act. He owns 10 bodegas in the city, while at the same time continuing his work as a community leader, helping those also from his native Yemen. We feel your pain. We understand what you guys going through. We need to help you. And their encounter is proof that it is a small world after all. He knows Mehdi's father and both hail from Yemen. It's really nice to know that the two of you stopped at the same time with the same thought process to help her. And that was it without wanting anything or expecting anything in return. I saw the girl, I, I looked at her. She's like, she was afraid at the same time. She was worrying about the car behind there. There was many cars, everybody beeping, you know, I was the one in the freeway. And I was, I was by myself. But the two believe the chance encounter has led them to something even greater, starting a nonprofit to help others in need. We could go to like different countries, different states within the United States, help poor communities, low income communities. We're gonna go to shelters homeless people, um, foster cares, and everything we could think of. So honestly, I've been planning and he came at the right time. He was like, we could scale this to a bigger scale, help as much people as we can. And hopefully in the future, we could take it globally. You hear stories like this. This is a New York story. Like, it, this is so New York. I mean, yeah. I love it. It's, so it's, New York, it's, yeah. I told them, let's go, Ahmed, you have a gift. You didn't need to be in a store. It's not gonna be everything, it's chips, it's chips and pop. We have more jobs, we have more goals to do it. The quote was, Kulishi Maktoub. In Arabic, it means, Kulishi Maktoub means everything is meant to be, everything is written how it's supposed to be. So basically, Kulishi Maktoub stands for like, this moment was meant to be. Like, it was meant to happen, it was written, and that's what we believe in and stuff like. So basically, Kulishi Maktoub means it was written for us. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.